Hello there. Hope everyone is safe and everything is good. This video will be a breakdown for the material I used for the walls in this in this project. So let's start. Okay, first of all, let's see our project quickly. Okay, I will move this wall. I named the project as cactus for the cactus I, put, I used here and these are the walls we are going to apply our material to it and out there I put some trees to give me this light effect from the sun I used here but I don't need the effect of it now we will use it later so okay so let's start creating the material of the wall first of all we will go to the material slate editor okay and we will create a Corona material, Corona material. Okay, from the diffuse color, we will create a sorry, we will create a Corona color from here. So double click on it, and from solid color, we will change the color we want to use on the diffuse of our material. So as you can see from here. Maximize it. Okay. So I will try to put the, the same tone of the material I used. Okay. I think it was 19, 40, 32. Okay, great. Now we have the tone that we want. Okay. After that, we will we want to add the mask to make the variation between the color and the let's say the dirt on the wall or the variation between the two colors. So because of that, we want to add a mix material. So how can we add a mix? We, from here we will go to maps corona and add corona mix just like that okay and we will link the corona color to the bottom of the mix just like that okay and now we can link the corona mix to the diffuse from here okay so what we will mix we will mix the color with the mask to give to give us this result so from here i will go to maps and add a bitmap and i will add the mask texture or the mask bitmap let's preview it and that's it okay so we have this bitmap and we will and we want to mix it with a uh, any color we want in this case we are using the green color okay so now i will choose it and we will see the result here as you can see a light green mixed with the mask te texture okay so now we want to add for it contract contrast or uh, reduce the brightness for it so to do that we want to add for the mask a corona color correction we can we can edit it from here double click on the mask go for output and me like this Make, make, we can make the 
a bitmap darker but we won't use that method so from here we will go sorry from here we'll go to corona corona and corona color correct just like that and we will break this from the corona mix and link the input or the corona color correct with the corona mix just like that so from the input or corona color correct we will change the brightness and the gamma to have a darker uh, bitmap so let's try to make it half okay now I, I want to make a variation between the uh, white color and the uh, black color to to mix it more so I will reduce the brightness to 0.05 okay and I will reduce the gamma to this amount and as simple as that we have the material that I used here so let's start let's try to assign it to the wall and see what we got okay I will assign it for these walls and I will show shading okay that's great so we have this result I'll try to change the UV okay and now I will open the interactive rendering to see the result of what we made Okay, great. It's obvious the variation between the green color and the mix of the mask we used. Surely we can change the color, we can change uh, the side of the mask. Let's try to change the UV from here. as simple as that and basically that's it work easy but work smart so uh, let's try to change the color or the tone we don't need this anymore okay from here you can change let's say have that purple color color let's try red dark red it's almost violet let's go for yellow so you can choose any color you want no 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 Okay, I will leave it as it, as it is and now I will try to make the same 
wool but with another color and I will copy this okay let's I will stop it for now and go for the material editor okay now we have here the green material we just tested and now we will make the same steps we we made previously but we will change the color uh, to use it on another wall so instead of doing doing it from zero i will keep it like this and i will add here a corona color correction corona corona color correct okay and i will link it the diffuse just like that and from here okay and from here I we will change the brightness for it to make it more brighter or you can make it darker as you want so let's change the color first and then we will edit the brightness of it okay let's go for a contrast color with the green let's say uh, Okay, I think you can see from here the contrast between the green color, the basic green color, and uh, brown, brown color. I think, yeah, I will use this color, and from here I will let, let's review it. Okay, it's very nice. And, uh, nope. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Now I will assign it to the wall, to this wall, and for the arch that I have here so okay. I'll assign it simply this fold just like that and to this arch I I edit the UVW previously so I don't need to edit them again. So, and you can you can uh, add. So let's let's make a test for this wall we have. Okay, I will start the interactive. Yeah, exactly. So now we have the green wall and the brown one facing each other with this with this arch here. For the wall in the background, we can use another green wall but make it lighter. Or we can keep it white as you want. So we can see the light coming from here uh, let's sorry let's enable the sun to see the effect it gives us
and this what we got from the sun we added okay and I think that's all let's make a fast review okay first of all we added a corona material for the fuse we give it a corona color and we put a green color in it I think it was uh, 40, that's right then we added corona mix and to the top we add we added a bitmap for the mask we want to use then add a color correction for it corona color correct just like that and we made the mask a little darker And that's all what you need to know so let's make a very fast tour on the cameras I used okay I will test it That's one. In this camera, I used a depth of field effect. So, That's it. And for the fourth camera, I change the ratio. Okay my friends, and that's all, leave your comments and feedback in the comment box and tell me what do you want from me to, to talk about or make more tutorials, I gonna share with you the project file, I will keep the link in the description, so keep an eye on the cards on the right corner of the video to know the password. The password there are two parts of the password one will show at the beginning and the other one will show at the end so keep an eye and send me your uh, tests send me your projects and I will give you my feedback thanks a lot and see you next video